Good morning. My name is James Boone. I'm here to present to you how God saved me and also serve as a testimony to join this fellowship. I grew up in a Chinese household in Malaysia, my parents and two older sisters. We were Lutheran. We went to the Basel Church, named after the town of Basel in Switzerland, where the Lutheran missionaries came from. Our family went to church faithfully, and my parents were involved in the choir. I was baptized as an infant and confirmed at the age of 13. I never did not believe in God. I remembered that I had a medical issue that needed to be checked out in the hospital. I was terrified and thought that it was going to be cancer. I remember kneeling down before leaving for the hospital and prayed that, uh, and told God that no matter what happens, I will be loyal to him. I was around nine years old. But from an early age, I had an acute sense of wanting to please others, wanting to please my parents, wanting to be accepted. Eastern culture is a shame-based and performance-based culture. And so I did things to gain acceptance and perform as to not shame my family. That mentality carried over to my relationship with God. I felt like I was always being judged. I had to be good enough to be accepted into God's family. Ultimately, it is up to me to pay my way, so to speak. I remember distinctly once I lied about what grade I got in school so that I would not get in trouble. In my high school years, I had a crisis of faith um, of sorts uh, due to the theory of evolution. To me, if evolution were true, there was no need for God. If chemical molecules can put themselves together, there is no need for divine intervention. And so I began asking questions about origin to my peers, my Sunday school teachers, and my pastors. The answers I got were unsatisfying, and frequently I was told I needed to have more faith. Finally, I embraced evolution and rejected the Genesis account of creation. Conveniently, I found by doing that, the Bible lost its authority in my life. I, can, I could now live however I wanted. In the year 2001, I came to the United States for college. That summer, the Bible study I went to was doing a video series on creation science. It was the first time I had heard scientific evidence for, Genesis, for the Genesis account, and I was blown away. The questions I had since high school were finally answered in a scientific way. I was convinced then of the Genesis account of creation and the validity of the Bible. I see now that God was breaking barriers of belief, of unbelief, I should say. The next barrier that God had to break was my working to gain God's acceptance. I was still working hard to be accepted by him. I now believe in the word and its authority but I was still trying hard to gain acceptance from him. In 2005, I finished, my, I finished my undergraduate degree in chemical engineering. It was a crowning moment for the family because it was my father's dream to have all his children graduate from college. It was a big occasion. Everyone flew in from Malaysia for the ceremony. On the day of the graduation, however, my father and I got into a big argument over a mistake I made. I was devastated. In my mind, I could not be good enough to be accepted, not even after a big accomplishment like finishing college. That night, after sharing this with my Bible study leader, he helped me to realize, yes, I'll never be good enough in God's eyes, no matter how hard I try. 
But there's good news. Jesus was good enough, and he paid my way. (laughs) For the first time, I felt so relieved. It seemed like a great burden had been lifted off my shoulders. I could not believe I did not have to pay my way. The verse that comes to mind is from Matthew 11. Come unto me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Jesus gave me rest from my labor and lifted my heavy burden. I was set free. Since then, I've taken his yoke and I've learned from him. I found that I had the freedom to truly worship God. Whereas before, any beauty in nature reminded me that I didn't measure up, now there was relief. Because I know that Christ is good enough. Whereas before, observing laws of nature and studying signs made me doubt God, now I rested in his word. I realized going through my testimony that I have not been baptized since I was given a new heart in 2005, and so I would like to today. Thank you.